Hello everybody and welcome back to mindful and physical therapy based workouts. We have a TRX session focused around shoulders and core and we'll look at a lot of details around shoulder stability, shoulder strength, uh, but also shoulder blade placement and I'll talk you through as always. Let's get started on the mat and with your TRX in a mid calf length. We'll be on the knees. Make sure you're aligned with your anchor point. And then place your hands on your handles on the TRX. And then just slowly move forward and start to feel the activity in the abs. Connect your rib cage to your navel to your pelvis and come back and don't go too crazy for the first few just to really get a feel for your core the lift through your pelvic floor the glutes are activating or stabilizing so you're not hanging into the hip joints and try to get a feel for your spine in the neutral just being transported forward and back integrating your neck, your head, so your chin is connected to your chest and you take it with you. And now we're gonna take our awareness into the shoulders, trying to feel the shoulder movement in the joint, the ball moving in the socket and your rotator cuff stabilizing the movement so it feels nice and round. The shoulders are pulled back. They're far away from your ears. And the shoulder blades, as the arms are moving forward and up, they'll widen. They'll do a rotational movement out to the side, as opposed to just lifting up to your shoulders. So you try to have that spacious feeling through your shoulder blades. The shoulder blades are never rigid when the arms are moving. They have to be dynamically stable without wiggling around or sticking out, but also can't be rigid or else you'd be very limited in your range of motion in the shoulders or very unstable on that end. And now we're gonna get, go a little deeper into that elevation of the arms. Let's see how far we can go and still feel stable in the shoulders. Just building up and not coming back all the way anymore. So now it starts to feel a little harder on the core too. Leaning in, just about coming back. We have a lot of lats working now. So you'll feel the outside of the shoulder. Shoulder blades are pulling down, not to lift them up to the, sh to the ears. You'll probably feel some triceps too. Two more and then try to hold the next one out and we'll build straight from here. Bend the elbows now, feel more triceps and then push back and bend, pull your abs into your back, feel your glutes active and then lots of width through your upper back, through your shoulder blades. Feel the space between the shoulder blades. The elbows are close together and you're working your triceps intensely. If this feels too hard, you can always walk your knees further forward. So you'll have a little less weight in the exercise, less resistance. 
working slowly so you can be mindful and intentional. And then just quick check in with the feet so you're not gripping them, you're not cramping them. Last four. Three. Two. And one. And then reach back. So big stretch for the shoulders now and for your thoracic spine, which is very important for functional shoulder movement. And then take the arms back and roll into a nice flexion in the spine. Bring them forward again. Hover your pelvis so you're active in the glutes, in the back extensors. Very little weight on the TRX and we're gonna just roll in. Inhale and exhale. Just want to work some back extensors and some articulation of the spine. Inhale and exhale. And inhale. Very awake in your core. And think into that thoracic spine, upper back. as a very important foundation for your posture and thus for the placement of the shoulder blades and the function of the shoulder. Inhale and exhale. Four more. Three. Two. And one. And then come up here and go straight onto your feet. Tuck your toes under. And we're going to just lift up into a push-up position. Maybe you want to walk your feet back for some more resistance. Maybe you'll be further forward if this is too challenging. So pick your spot. Make sure you're stable on the feet, nothing sliding away, and then bend your elbows. And now here, make sure your head is pulled back, your neck is elongated. You have that stability through the thoracic spine again, and then push back and elbows bending and extend lots of core closing ribs towards the midline and keep checking on the head it will want to sink the neck needs a lot of support here So we're doing strength for the pecs, strength in the shoulders. And you have the shoulder blade stabilizers. So you want to keep the shoulder blades far apart, not sinking in. And then we're gonna hold the right angle here and we're just gonna pulse nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then just walk forward to take a stretch. Mindful of your shoulders again mindful of your thoracic spine getting that extension and then roll yourself in round curl in 
and then get back to that push-up situation. We'll return and we'll try to just bend one arm and the other side is extending out and we're going to inhale and exhale coming back. Stay with this side and inhale and exhale. So a lot of stability required to keep the shoulders square. And I've got my feet slightly further forward this time because it's more challenging with that clock press, that straight arm. I want to be stable. I want to be able to focus on the quality and the form while strengthening. And two more. And one more. And we'll go straight into the other side now. Right arm stays straight. Coming back. And the left arm just does a regular bench press push up. Try to feel into the shoulder joints, feel into your rotator cuff, the stabilizers which are on as we're in that push up situation. Four more. Check on abs, check on glutes, check on legs and feet. Last two. And last one. And walk yourself forward a little bit again and take a stretch. And then just bring the arms down and Pull the neck out long and feel the shoulder blades nice and wide and then go forward again and just mindfully pulling the elbows down. This is just to activate some lats to create some awareness for an elongated neck for a good position of the shoulder blades. So as you pull the elbows down, you'll feel the shoulder blades pulling down your back as if you wanted to stuff them into the pockets of your jeans, kind of aiming down towards your butt. So you can have a little pressure in there But really work form, work awareness, work activation of the little details. Last two and last one and then roll yourself in, curl in, inhale and then exhale, slowly rolling back. Inhale, exhale, roll down your spine. And onto your knees. The feet are going in. <coughs> and you place yourself with your hands underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips. And now we're gonna sink into the shoulder blades, just letting go of that serratus anterior which really is the one that's lifting you out of it here. So now shoulder blades nicely pulled apart. You want to also keep the spine neutral. So don't round, but keep it neutral and just work shoulder girdle, adjust your head, pulling it up and then just sinking in and coming up, sinking in and up. And the elbows are micro bent. No need to do anything with your arms, really. They're just there. All the movements happening in the shoulder girdle, which is shoulder blades, shoulders, clavicles. And that's where it all 
is linked to the sternum. And inhale here in a neutral, so you're pulled out, lift it from your neck, from your head, and then lift your knees. Try to stay out here, and as you extend into a plank, you keep your shoulder blades wide apart, and extend, and pull back in, and extend, and pull back in. Lots of diligence in the shoulders, in the core. Now keep pulling your face away from the mat. And of course you'll feel some legs too. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1 and release. Take a stretch, a twist. Now you want to get a stretch for the shoulder, but then also reach all the way over, which is now bringing the rotation further down into the thoracic spine. And then other side. So first, just try to get the shoulder stretched, really just reaching over with the arm, and then all the way into your spine. And get back with the hands underneath your shoulders and the knees close together. Now make sure you're pushed out, serratus interior is working the shoulder blade wide apart from the other one and then lift your knees and the knees are going to go over to the left side and now we're going to tap down and lift. We're going to tap down and lift, tap down and lift. And all of this is happening with a nice setup off your shoulders, shoulder blades, neck, thoracic spine to maintain stability. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then come back. Just go onto your forearms for a moment to release your hands, your wrists. Give them a little circle, a little loosening up. And we want to get ready on the other side. If that doesn't work for you on your hands, feel free to use the fists or go down onto the elbows. Getting ready with the knees together. Setting up nicely, shoulder blades apart, neutral in the spine, head lifted, neck elongated, and elbows micro bend. Lift up here. Go over to the right side, tapping down and lift. Lots of obliques, lots of abs. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
and one. And back down. Take your feet out for a moment. Sit back, reach, walk the fingertips forward. And then slowly come back, rolling up. And just take the hands behind your back and take a stretch here, opening. And then turn around and let's shorten the T-Rex here all the way up, all the way up, grabbing the outside, pulling up long Basset Hound ears. And here we go for a pull-up setting. Holding on to the handles and placing your feet kind of underneath. You want to be hanging here. So don't make it a row, but it really is a pull up. So you want to be as close underneath the anchor point as possible, depending on your mounting. And then inhale. And on your exhale, you pull the elbows all the way out to the side. So just evening out a little bit here. You have some pressure from your feet. You can help yourself a little bit, only just as much as needed. And then you pull the elbows out wide to get a lot of lats and a lot of shoulder blade depressors. So they are pulling the shoulder blades down. They can come up a tiny little bit here, so you're hanging, and then you pull them down first thing. And keep going with an active core, active pelvic floor. Take a break if you need to, or join me for the next 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. And now shake your arms, get some blood flow into the arms and the hands, and relax for a moment. In your cross-legged, also take a lean forward to open the hips and stretch your glutes. Deep inhale here, a mindful moment. Exhale, rolling up. We're gonna go back and do the arms close together. So second set will be a narrow pull up. The elbows stay together and we're pulling up here. We're gonna try and pull the shoulders down, shoulder blades down your back, neck is long, and you want to be hanging through your spine too. Three, again, lats. Close the ribs and pull the pelvic floor in and up, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We'll have five more if you have them. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. And then walk yourself back. And lean into a stretch here. And you can open the arms a little bit. And just open a little bit. And open. And then roll all the way up into standing. And we'll pull the TRX long again. Into your mid-calf length. And then we're going to adjust it down here. Inhale here. And exhale, rolling down. Now pull your abs all the way in. The shoulders are getting a little bit of a break. And exhale. Inhale at the top. Exhale. Closing the ribs, pulling the abs in. Pelvic floor is supporting from underneath. Mobilizing your spine. And try to think about the neck, neck flexors on the way up. And then as you go down, you slowly put each vertebra down, elongate here, and then pick it up again. Deep neck flexors. Very important for your posture, for the stability of your neck. And then hold it halfway here and inhale. Now on your exhale, my left arm is pushing over and I'm just pushing with my left and I'm keeping my pelvis stable to work into my obliques. Go as far down into your roll down as you need to, to get that work going. I'm just pushing with my left arm, push and push and push, push. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, other side, pushing with the right. holding my pelvis back, really working into the obliques. And we'll have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and then hold it in the center. Now the abs are pulling in and I'm just gonna pull the hands to my chest and pull and pull a mix of some arms, some shoulder placement, some abs pulling in, deepening, flattening, let those abs go in, in, inwards as far as you can. I have some activity in my arms. I am pulling a little bit. 
in order to get more suction of the abs in, but also to activate my shoulders nicely. I'm feeling my shoulder blades, I'm feeling them wide apart and the shoulders away from my ears. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. I'm holding, switching to the handles. And now I'm bringing my arms into a right angle. Now a little less on the abs, more stabilizing. And I'm introducing some bicep here with a nicely placed shoulder setup, shoulder joints. So you want to think of the ball in your socket being kind of pulled towards the rear cuff. So far back. I'm working the back of the shoulder. I'm trying to open through my chest, even though my elbows are close together. The abs are on, but it's not predominantly about the abs now. So I'm working biceps, shoulders, neck. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and then hold it. Bring the elbows all the way together and out, all the way together and out. So now I have some pecs on for sure. 10, nine, still closing the ribs. Eight, pelvic floor is lifting. Seven, six, five, neck flexors. Four, three, two, and one. And then stretch forward and release. Coming back with your feet on the mat. Have the right hand in both foot straps. And we're gonna go back into an inhale and then exhale, just push the right hand down and you'll feel the shoulder setting, the shoulder blade pulling down and we'll have the asymmetry. So working some obliques, pushing down Trying to keep everything square though. Making sure you don't get too much on the hip flexor on the right side. So you want to have heavy feet, almost maybe pulling the heels into your sit bones a little bit to activate the posterior chain. two and one and now the left arm is going to go back and forward and circle back beautiful movement of that left arm because you're all centered in that shoulder it should just feel right only go as far back as you can maintain stability in the core and a good setup in the shoulder you're still pushing your right hand into the straps. Four, three, two, and one. And we'll switch left hand in. And inhale, exhale, pushing the hand down. Try to keep everything square. Work into the depth of those abs. We still have some neck flexors. Your chin is relating to your sternum. Four. 
three, two, and one, and then right arm going. Six more. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. And now it's time to release those hip flexors. Reach forward. Take some good breaths into your body. Try to release the hips. Try to release the abs and the shoulders. And then come back and we'll just do some side planks. And we'll have the bottom foot in and we'll be on the elbow. You can use your hand to get yourself up if you need to. Now push through that back foot, which is still on the mat. So you want to just take a moment to really get into a nice setup on that right shoulder, making sure you're not pushing forward. That would be highly unstable. So almost pulling it back a little bit, the arm mindfully pulling up. And then I've got this knee lifting up and pushing down through the foot, lifting up and then pushing down, lifting up and pushing down. So try to have some pressure forward because it's challenging not to rotate back, lifting up and pushing down. We'll have four more. Three, two, and one, and then release. We're gonna switch to the other side. Take your time to set yourself up on the left shoulder. Maybe helping with the right hand to come up here and then lift it up. Mindful for that setup. And then push the bottom foot into the straps. We'll have a little lift here. Pressing down. Six more. Four. Three. Two. And one. And release. Just sit here. Both handles in your hands, inhale, exhale, roll down, and inhale here, and exhale, just rolling back up, and reach forward, go straight down again, just moving through. And exhale. Almost like a rowing a boat. And no need to even extend your spine up there. You can just keep it round. Just reaching forward. And one more time. And that 
that's where you stay into a cross-legged and the hands still in your handles and then just open one side all the way mindful of that shoulder so you want to rotate from your torso and not just move the arm but really go with your whole upper body and then other side and again first side second side and then come back letting go of your straps and then take a deep inhale and trace your midline to finish off mindfully well done you made it thank you so much for joining please like and subscribe if you would like to see more of this more of mindful and physical therapy based workouts see you soon